Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can start an awesome Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.8.5. But keep in mind, this is not a 24 hour server, meaning it's only up when your computer is up and running. It's only up when you're actively running it and it's using your computer's resources. So it, it does kind of suck in that regard. And additionally, it is a private server. You don't want to give this server out to people you don't trust, such as your friends and family. That's the only people you want to give this to. You don't want to give it to everyone on the internet because that's on your your own IP address and people will do bad things with that they'll you know take your internet down they'll do all that stuff and you don't want that luckily I do have a solution for you, you can go to nixgamescom slash apex get it an awesome 24-hour server that's up no matter what at any time of the day and it also doesn't use your own IP meaning you don't have to worry about having people you don't know come onto the server nixgamescom slash apex get an awesome server there for just four dollars a month or forty dollars a year it's insane Go check it out, nixgamescom slash apex, first link down below, but if you don't want a 24-hour server and you just want to set up a server for your friends and family, let's go ahead and jump on into this. So the first thing you want to do is go to minecraft.net slash download or the second link in the description down below. If you click that, it will take you here where you just want to scroll down until you see if you're running a window on Windows and you just want to set up a server easily, easily download minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot five dot exe. Luckily, uh, as far as I know, this is Windows, right? We're running on Windows. We want to go ahead and click on this and it will then download minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot five right there. If we minimize this, this is on our desktop. If it's not on your desktop, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in Downloads, hit Enter, and it will be right here in your Downloads folder. If it is in your Downloads folder, drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we want to right-click and we want to create a new folder. And uh, we can title it whatever. It doesn't matter what you title it. I'm going to title it 1.8.5 Server. Literally, you can say whatever you want there. It doesn't matter. But what does matter is taking this file you downloaded and dragging it into the folder we created. Why? Because this file is going to create a lot more files and we don't want them all over our desktop. So let's go ahead and double click on Minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot five. Yes, we want to run the server and it'll now create some things, do some stuff and boom, there you go. But that's not everything we need to do. We still need to agree to the EULA. So double click on that. It'll open up in notepad and we need to change EULA equals false right here to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E. Make sure it's spelled correctly. If it's not, it will mess up. It will not work. It also needs to be all lowercase. That is also very important. It will not work if it is not all lowercase. Go ahead and click file and save. And by the way, before you do agree to this EULA, make sure you actually agree to it by going here. I read it a long time ago. I agree to it. This server's not going to break the EULA, so I'm good to go. Make sure you're good to go by going and checking that out. Nevertheless, EULA equals true. Again, we'll make sure real quick and save it and then close out of that. Now we want to go ahead and double click on Minecraft underscore server one dot eight dot five yet again. Click on run again and wait for it. It opens up this and in the background generates a hack of a lot more files and that is officially our server up and running we're done no I'm kidding it's sadly not that easy right now this is technically a server and you could join it but your friends can't join it and that is what we're gonna start doing now so we want to go ahead and stop this server by just tapping stop here you won't always want to do it like this by typing it in that box and stopping the server that way rather than just closing out of it because that actually doesn't really close out of it it'll still use your computer's resources nevertheless we want to go ahead and open up this right here this server properties file so we can right click and open or I'm gonna actually open with because most likely if you double click on this it'll pull this box up you just want to click on notepad to open it up once you've opened this up you need to find something called server dash IP and right here it is what do we put there Nick well we need to open up the command prompt how do we do that well if you're on Windows 8 you can simply hit the Windows key and then type in CMD right click and run as administrator you can do that on Windows 7 as well or if you want to be real fancy and you're on Windows 7 you can hit the Windows key or keyboard and R at the exact same time type in CMD and hit enter and it will open it up as well there's two ways to get to it it doesn't matter which one you use but yeah if you're on Windows 8 you have to do the the Windows key CMD and then run it as an administrator it will not work if you don't nevertheless in this box we now want to type IP config IP C O N F I G hit enter and it will give us all of this information right here our IPv4 address is all we want right now but we're going to need some more stuff from this page so leave it up don't close out of it once you get your IPv4 address so as you can see my IPv4 address is 192.168.1.196 so I want to copy that over to here 192.168.1.196 there you go boom our IPv4 address from here is now copied over into the server IP. We can now go ahead and press File, Save, bada bing bada boom, 
There you go. That's done. But we're not done just yet. We now need to take this default gateway right here, 192.168.1.1, and type that into our web browser. So let's come up here, 192.168.1.1. Hit that, and it will now take you to a page that looks exactly like or completely different from this. Most likely completely different, but that's okay. Calm down. We can do this. You'll most likely have a login box. My router is a little bit different. I actually just have an access code that is on my router specifically. You might have that same thing. If you don't and you're asked for a username and a password, I can get that for you. How? By coming over here to this website, routerpasswords.com or the third link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, and then you'll have this box with tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of routers in it. Basically, just search for your router model and find it. So we're just going to say we have a Netgear router. There we go. Netgear router. What? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Give me back to that page. All right. Netgear router. Find passwords. It will now give us the router name and password for every single Netgear router out there. As you can see, username over here. So if we had this Netgear router right here, we would do username none, meaning empty. Don't put anything in the username. And the password 123. For this one, we would do admin as the username and password, literally the word password, as the password. So get on through here, find that. If this doesn't work, if you find your router and the password and username there don't work, contact whoever set up the network in your house and that will most likely work or your internet service provider. They'll probably be able to provide it for you. So that's how you can do that. Find your username and password here. Come back and enter them right here. I'm going to go ahead and enter my router password and uh, get on into this. So once you're logging your router, again, it will look something exactly like or most likely likely completely different from what we've got right here all you want to do though is find most likely advanced settings uh, you know like advanced advanced you want to find network settings in my case though it's actually in security so look there too look all around your router for what we're about to do here so I'm gonna click on security and then as you can see, we have apps and gaming. For you, it might be port forwarding slash port triggering. It might be port forwarding. It might just be port triggering. If you've got both, you want port forwarding. Look for port forwarding or apps and gaming. For me, I've got apps and gaming. We want to click on single port forwarding right here. And then we want to add a new single port forward. For you, it might not be that. You might just need port forwarding and that's it. But nevertheless, go and you know add a new port, and you'll get something that will look a lot like this. This is one that will look a lot like yours. It might not be you know as good looking, it might be worse looking, but it'll be the exact same style and have all of the exact same information outputs. For application name, it doesn't matter what you put in here. We're just gonna do Minecraft. For external port, it does matter. We're gonna do two five five six five, right like that. For internal port, we're gonna do two five five six five, right like that. For protocol, we need to do both UDP slash TCP, so that means we want to click both. For you, it might be TCP slash UDP or UDP slash TCP. It doesn't matter. Or if you can just use one of those, do this twice. Do it once for TCP and do it once for UDP. Okay, so just do that twice if you only have once of them. Never mind. Nevertheless, we're almost done with this, and once we're done with this, guys, the hard part's over. All we now want to do is in our IPv4 address right here in device IP. Where's our IPv4 address again? right here for me it's 192.168.1.196 and that means we want to do dot one dot one nine six boom there you go now we can go ahead and click save and the hard part is done can we get some celebration no no celebration but we are almost done guys let's go ahead and show you that this thing is up and running go ahead and click apply wait for it to change that and click ok and guess what we can basically close out of the browser we don't need it anymore we're gonna need it in a second to get your public IP so your friends and your family can join this but nevertheless that's not here nor there let's delete it ourselves first just to make sure it is up and running to officially get your server running though you do need to double click again on minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight it will then again click run you can always you know click uncheck that box to where it automatically opens every time and now the server is technically up and running Let's go ahead and launch into Minecraft 1.8.5 to uh, to make sure it's actually running. And we're going to join this in two ways. We're going to join it in one using your, you know, like IPv4 address that is again right over here. Using that a lot, aren't we? And we're going to use your public IP. If you can join it with your IPv4 address but can't join it with your public IP, most likely it's either your firewall or the port forward that we just did not working. Okay, so maybe disable your router's firewall or something like that, but do that very lightly because that means you're very exposed on the internet at that point or 
review the port forward and make sure you did that correctly. Make sure you did 25565 as the port number and make sure you know you did UDP slash TCP and things like that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and launch into multiplayer here. We're going to direct connect to our IPv4 address, which again is right over here. 192.168.1.196. Yours might be completely different from mine, by the way. Don't be freaking out if any of these numbers are different. If you've made it this far, though, you probably already haven't. Let's go ahead and click join server, and uh, it'll log us on in here. So, boom, as you can see, we are now in a Minecraft server. Falling through space as the world generates, and there you go. Wow, we spawned in a jungle biome. That's pretty cool. If we go over here to the server, as you can see, Nyx Games is now in the in the game, and I'm pretty sure that we can go ahead and op ourselves. Let's do that. To op yourself, meaning you can have like ban powers and stuff like that, just tip, simply type over here OP and then your username. In my case, Nyx Games. Hit enter, and boom, we are now opt, which means we should be able to do game mode one, for example, and we are now in creative. Boom, there you go. Alright, so what if your friends want to join this though? Well, they're not going to use your IPv4 address found over here. They're going to use a thing called your public IP. To do this and to find your public IP, just go to Google. You can go to Google.com or you can just go to, you know, like this Google Chrome search. It doesn't matter where you find it. Just in Google, type two letters. IP. Boom. There it is. There's your public IP address. Or for you seeing my video, a big black box because I don't want you to have my public IP address because guess what? You can do some very, very bad things with that. Just like you shouldn't give your public IP address for this server out to anyone you don't explicitly trust because they can do some very bad things with it. That means don't post it in the comment section of this video. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and copy this public IP address and move it over here into the Minecraft box. Again, there is a black box there for you right there's a black box over here and there's a black box right here but i'll let you see the last letter because you can't do anything with just the last number of that the the nine you can't do anything with that but if you had more information you most definitely could so let's go ahead and uh, join this server if it lets us in guess what your public ip address is working and there we go exactly as we were before we can come back over here to the server and see Nyx Games is in the game. So, there you guys have it. That is how you can set up a server in Minecraft 1.8.5. It seems a little complicated, but I promise you it isn't. It is It is really easy. I mean, it's really at the end of the day. I know I talk fast. I know I go through it fast. Don't be afraid to rewind the video. Go back through it. But if this isn't the kind of server you want and you want it to be a little easier to set up, you can get a server from nixgamescom slash apex. For just $4 a month or $40 a year, you can get an incredible server that you can play with your friends, that you can share with everybody in the world, and be perfectly fine. So go check that out, nixgamescom apex. First link in the description down below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Nix Games. I hope you enjoy your servers, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft videos every single day of the week. Hey, there's some news you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got how to install texture packs in Minecraft 1.8.5. That's an awesome video that, well, shows you how to install texture packs in 1.8.5. You've got a server, why not use a texture pack on it? Go check that video out to see how to do it. And down the other way, we've got how, to, what's new in 1.8.5. Rather, that shows you, well, what's new in Minecraft 1.8.5. They released this update, but what did they do in it? Check out that video to find out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Nyx Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.